Welcome to Housing News Dex. My name is Princess Ehidia May. Now the headlines. President Buhari appoints Adeniron Surveyor General of the Federation. Enugu government approves 2.5 billion naira for infrastructure. 492 families benefit from Sowa Olu's housing scheme. And on the foreign scene, Indian demolishes illegal luxury high-rises. President Muhammad Buhari has appointed Samway Adeniron as a Surveyor General of the Federation. This was conveyed in a letter signed by the Minister of Works and Housing, Babatude Fashola. The Federal Ministry of Works and Housing supervises the Office of the Surveyor General of the Federation, OSGOV. Adet Niron, on his recent appointment, was overseeing the affairs of OSGOV since October 8, 2019. Enugu State Governor Ifain Uguayi has approved the execution of development project worth over 2.5 billion naira. Briefing newsmen after the State Executive Council meeting, the Commissioner for Information, Chidi Aro, disclosed that the Council approved the construction for internal road networks. Aro stated that the Council approved the construction of 24 units to serve as a support facility for the ongoing 10-unit guest houses nearing completion. The Commissioner further disclosed that the intervention vehicles will complement the five firefighting trucks procured earlier by the Governor's administration for the newly constructed fire service stations across the state. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu has presented keys to beneficiaries of his administration's rent-to-own housing scheme. The presentation event which held at the banquet hall of the State House comes four months after the housing estate was completed by his administration. The governor, while speaking at the event, described the development as a promise kept ahead of time, noting that his administration's rent-to-own housing scheme took off earlier than expected. The governor reiterated that provision of these sent homes for residents across the state remained a key priority for his administration. Now on the foreign scene, authorities in southern India have demolished two luxury lakeside apartment complexes that were built in violation of environmental rules. Residents of the state of Kerala watched as their homes and investments were being demolished in seconds. The Supreme Court ordered the demolition last year after a committee found that they were built in breach of rules protecting coastal areas. In total, 343 flats, homes to about 2,000 people, were expected to be destroyed over the weekend. Thank you for watching Housing TV News. My name is Princess Ehidiame.